Hi, I'm Justin Ball, the owner of the Showerhead store in Hammerhead Showers. Quick question for you. Have you updated, remodeled your bathroom, but you have mismatching fixtures? Well, that's kind of a sight for sore eyes, and it's what I'm dealing with right now at the Showerhead Store Studio. You can check out our video of before and after of the Showerhead Store Studio where we upgraded everything, our bathtub, bath faucet, vanity, all the fixtures, except for this. So all brushed nickel, except for chrome. So I'm gonna show you how to do a quick upgrade of this right here, the trim on the shower and the shower head. Come join me, I'm gonna get started. So we're gonna get started replacing the trim here. This is an American standard valve. We didn't replace the valve when we did the uh, remodel of the bathroom. So whenever you're replacing this, I know this is you know just common sense, but you need to match the shower valve brand and model with the trim. The trim needs to match that valve. Not all trims are compatible with any valves, okay? So make sure you do that. Save yourself the time and the headache, right? So I have a video that we'll link down below on my research on finding the right trim for this and replacing it. But what we need to replace this besides the trim is a cloth, which just gonna throw over the drain cover here so any screws that drop don't go down there. Screwdriver, Phillips head, and a 2.5 millimeter hex wrench. So let's get into it. So just, you don't even need to uh, shut off the water to your house to do this. Just make sure you don't open the shower on yourself when you're working on this. I'm actually gonna grab a flat head here. So it's just a little adapter plastic piece that snaps in here. So now uh, I just have a couple of screws here. Looks like only one is installed here actually. That's pretty interesting there's a lot of uh there's a foam sealant on the back of this plate and it's releasing all, it was holding a lot of moisture in there there's a lot of moisture that was being held that you could see uh probably clean that up before we put in the the new trim but that's all we need to do to get the old one out so this is what that uh this is a pressure balancing valve from american standard I'm gonna grab another cloth All right, so I have the brushed nickel trim here. So the plate will catch onto these screws that are at the uh, ins inside on the valve, inside the wall here. Um, so I'm gonna slide this over first, this cap. And then the tricky part is just getting these lined up. So I'm just, before I start tightening anything down, So that one's caught. Okay, so that's snug on there. So now that I have that set up, now I just need to snap this decorative ring right onto there. And I will grab my handle. And I already have the adapter on the cartridge because um, it's the same trim as the last one. I'll just slide this on over like that and just tighten this down. This set screw onto the handle adapter. And there you have it, nice and snugly on there. Put some silicone around there to seal it. And now all we have left is the shower arm and shower head. So let's get the shower head and shower arm off and then we'll install the new fixtures and brush nickel. That can go in my guest bathroom and I will just take this. All right, and just clean up around the wall here. Right. 
And then we have our brush nickel shower arm. So what I'd recommend doing for this is there's a set screw here that we need to thread in a little bit. Just gonna get that threaded in some, then slide this over. I'll just tighten this down a bit. All right, and then we have the thread tape and this thread tape is gonna go on both sides. Then I'm gonna thread it on this side here. So we'll get that threaded in the wall. And then I'm just gonna run some water through it here and test sure there's no leaks coming in. That looks good. So I'll just finish the installation of this shower flange, slide it back to the wall here and tighten the set screw. All right, so the last part, installing the shower head. With the dual shower head, we'll start with the diverter. And let me add the cloth back on the drain because we're working with some set screws here on the diverter. And there's a washer in here, but we also have thread tape just to get a really good seal. Just hand tighten that. Once it's tightened down, just with these set screws right here, just take the included wrench and tighten these down all the way and then this will not sway at all this is locked into place so that's really snug next thing we'll do is we're gonna take some more thread tape we're gonna put some thread tape on those threads in the front here we have our shower hose Hex nut goes on this side. And then the hand shower gets the round nut. Just make so, sure those washers are in there nice and seated so you get a leak free seal. And then I'll just tighten this one. Don't need to over tighten it, but just get an extra turn there if you can. And then dock the hand shower. And last but not least, got the rain shower head. Already have the thread tape on here. Just got a screen washer in there. Go ahead and hand tighten this on. There you go. Last part, run some water through it, test for leaks, and then we'll put some silicone sealant around the trim plate and around the flange so no water gets in the walls. So just looking for the rain shower head, no leaks there. And then from the handheld shower head, we'll look at the shower arm connections and don't see any leaks any, anywhere there. If you were experiencing any leaks, you'd wanna shut this off and then you would check, make sure your washers are installed properly. Make sure you put thread tape on all the threads. And if you didn't, go ahead and do that. So there you have it, upgrading from chrome to brush nickel, completing our shower remodel. Thank you for joining me in this video. I'm Justin Ball, the Showerhead Guy, signing out for now.